Hey y'all. Hey roses. How is everyone today, tonight, this evening, whenever it is that you see this video? How is everybody doing? I am coming to you guys today with um, a Sephora after VIB sale. This is after the VIB sale. As you know, I normally do this once a year when they have Sephora VIB sale. And I normally um, post stuff, show stuff, shall I say, um, that I purchased from the Sephora VIB sale after because I understand that everyone can't go to Sephora doing the VIB sale at that time. You know, it might not be a good time for them. They might, it might be their bills are due. You know, they might not get paid on that week or two weeks or however. So I like to post stuff for my roses after the fact, okay? Because everybody puts up Sephora, um, you know, videos. So I'm quite sure you've seen it everywhere, or, you know, on YouTube. But I like to come after because I think about people that can't get it right then. You know, so I want to share this with you, some items that I purchased from Sephora. So with that being said, I hope you all are having an amazing day and I hope you all are drinking plenty of water because, you know, we got to stay hydrated over here. OK, and also make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend. OK, and so we can all just be friends. All right. All right. So anyway, with that being said, I have this Sephora bag for y'all. This one here. Sephora and I have uh, another Sephora bag for you guys and then I'm going to also throw um, some couple of things that everybody was showing around on YouTube um, and TikTok from uh, Alta and I'm going to throw in some something I purchased from um, Victoria's Secret okay so that's what we're going to be doing today all right so let's get started I don't know exactly. This is my first time um, recording this way with this here. So we're going to see how it works. So hopefully it turns out good so I can post this video for y'all, okay? Because your girl is trying to be a little bit more consistent, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there. Um, for a minute, you're not going to see intros. So let me just let you know that right off rip. Um, you're not going to see intros. My videos are just going straight up low right now um, because I can't do my intros right now. But editing and all that stuff there, I'm, I'm taking classes, trying to learn different stuff with editing. So no intros right now, okay, till I bring it back, all right? So anyway, I'm just straight uploading right now, okay? And I need to get some other things for um, my storage and just different stuff like that. Just trying to convert over to some different things. So anyway, rather have something up than nothing, okay? So if you are a new YouTuber and you're just starting out, take it from me. You do not have to have intros or outros, okay? Whatever you can get, girl or guy, you go with it, you take it, you film it, you post it, you put it up, okay? Don't let nothing stop you because you don't have an intro or you don't have an outro or anything like that or you don't have something that other YouTubers already have. Don't do that, okay? You just go ahead and upload that video, take it from me, and you keep going because I've had intros, outros, and all that stuff. And right now, like I said, I'm just straight uploading right now, okay? So don't give up. And that lets you know that I'm not giving up, okay? So that's all you need to do. And I'm just going to be done with that part right there. But if you want to know anything else, you can DM me on Instagram at Ross General World. And I don't mind chatting with you about any little thing that I know about YouTube, some things I know about YouTube. You can share. You can make it. You could be successful. I have about 1,200 uh, subscribers, and I am monetized on YouTube. So take it from me. You do not have to have all these subscribers to be monetized because here's the thing. YouTube pays you by views, okay? So it's a lot of times that people don't even subscribe. People just watch your videos and don't subscribe, okay? So you can see my videos are up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't post consistently as I should. I was gone for a while, for about four or five years, and I'm recently just getting back, okay? I have already explained that to you. If you go look at my New York video, you will know where I have been and why I have been gone. That video got 29,000 views, okay? So, um, and a couple of others got like 5,000, 4,000 views, stuff like that. So like I said, it fluctuates because I don't, I'm not being that consistent, but if you get to be real consistent, you will get to where you need to be. So don't give up. Okay. Don't give up. Take it from me. Go back and look at my videos. See how I just, how I did everything. I was just straight up loading. And that's the key. You just keep going, have faith. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and don't give up. Okay. So with that being said, enough of that. Um, let's just get into the video. Probably in no particular order, okay? So let's go. Um, yeah. 
Sephora. So I got. Okay, y'all. I think I had told y'all about this a while back. Um, where is it? I don't know, but it's somewhere right here. But it's Summer Friday. I bought the other one too. The vanilla one is somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, I brought this a while, long time ago. And I had did a video and told y'all about it when, when a haul or something when I first had bought it. And I said I was going to give you all an update on this. But y'all, I really love this. And it smells amazing. Okay. It smells amazing. I'm going to find it too. It smells really good. So 10 out of 10, I would recommend. It is about, I think it's anywhere between 12 to 15. I mean, anywhere from 12 to $20. So anywhere from 12 to $20 is worth it. It's amazing. And also now they have come out with the body lotion to this. And it smells just like the lip balm here. And it's so good. It smells good. So I will recommend you get that. And if I'm not mistaken, that one is $28 for the body cream. It's either $23 to $28, somewhere around in there. Okay. So um, definitely check this out. Can't go wrong with this. It smells amazing. Okay. Um, I've told y'all before, I love the Fenty Butter Drop. Okay. So um, I grabbed a small one. The big ones, they was out. Of, I've had them before, but this is how it looks. And you can see I only have a little tap out of it right now because I got others. But this is how it looks. Consistency is great. It's so amazing on your skin. It has your skin feeling very so, so soft. It's not greasy or anything like that. You are so moisturized. You feel like butter is on your skin. So I would 10 out of 10, I would recommend the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. And this is how it comes. And this one here is $22. And the other ones, the bigger ones are, I think, it's uh, 40, somewhere around $40. I don't, I, I don't recall it being over 40 or $45, something like that. Okay. That's the regular price on that. All right. Um, also I have this one here. This is the vanilla Fenty butter drop as well. Um, haven't used it. Yeah. I haven't even taken it out. Um, but this is how it looks. It's the vanilla Fenty butter drop. If you all can see it here, this is how it looks. Container is nice. I'm trying to get it. Okay, I did get it out. So this is the packaging on top. Can you let's see if it focus? Can you can you see that? Maybe it's my lighting. Let me see. Let's let's turn my lighting down some. Uh, can you can you see that? No. Uh, yeah, it, it might be my lighting a little bit here. I don't know. But anyway, um, this is this is it here. And um, it's amazing. It smells very good. You see the consistency in that? It is good, okay? It is good, y'all. Again, very buttery, good for your skin, moisturized. Like, it have your skin feeling so, so, so soft. So I would definitely recommend that. That runs around about $40, I think. No more than $45, something like that. Anywhere from $35 to $45. I'm just going to put it that way. So I don't want to mess up the wrong price for you guys, okay? Um, This one here is the... Fenty, um, I think it's the cookies and cream. Let's see. I think, it's, let me see which one this one is. I think it's the cookies and cream mask. It is. It doesn't have the cookies and cream smell to it, but this is the cookies and cream, cream uh, mask. And it's, uh, I believe it's the pour mask. But anyway, it's the, it's the cookies and cream mask. And this here is amazing for your face, Okay. Your skin will be looking amazing, okay? I can't tell you to do nothing but purchase it and try it out, okay? Because it's, it's really good. It detoxes your skin so good. Um, you can tell when it's, uh, it's, you know, finished doing what it needs to do because the color changes on it a little bit. And, it, you know, it dries out and the color changes a little bit purple-like a little bit, something like that. But this is the Cookies and Cream by Fenty. It works amazing, okay? So, um... Also, I got the Fenty soap. Now, I have not used this. It's the Fenty, it's the Fenty um, cleanser. I'm sorry, the Fenty cleanser. You see that? It's the Fenty cleanser. Oh, y'all can see it better now because my lighting was not good. So, it's the Fenty cleanser, and this is the cleansing bar. And this was $14. And it says Fenty skin in here in the front. Well, initials, okay? And it was $14. I've heard great things about this. I have not tried it yet, y'all. But when I do, I'm going to come back and let you all know how everything was when I do, okay? Also, this is the Fenty lip oil that everybody was ramping and raving about. TikTok, YouTube, 
everywhere. And this is how that looks like that. They said it was real, real good. It, it smells just like cherry. It's the uh, cherry, cherry bomb. It's, I think it's called a Fenty cherry bomb. Smells just like cherry. Um, I've heard, I've seen it. Uh, a lot of people do reviews on it and um, has your lips shiny and looking amazing. Um, can't go wrong with that as well. Okay. Um, I believe that one was, let me make sure my volume is 